Hey guys, Brandon here um, for the Ultimate Movie Channel um, with an extra video this week. I've been talking about doing this one for a little while. Um, this is a steelbook collection video. I, I've gotten quite a few recently and I really like do like collecting them. Um, I don't have as many as a lot of people do, but it's definitely a sub-collection that I want to work on as time goes by. Anytime I find them for a good deal, if it's something I'm interested in, I will pick it up. And we're just going to go ahead and, actually before we dive in, I did post a picture on Instagram last night of the majority of the videos that I plan on showing today, or Steelbooks rather. And my buddy Rick down the movie and <laughs> Joe Martinez both pointed out that I do not have little plastic veggies on my Steelbooks. Something I have rectified. I've already ordered them. They will be in here soon, guys, and I will get them all bagged up. I promise you. And a, a shout out from Joe in his video today at the end, mentioning the fact that I don't have bags for mine. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Um, first one is Shaun of the Dead. Um, I got this one a couple years ago at Target. I think it was nine ninety nine. One of my favorite movies. I. I swear I probably watch this like every three months. I've probably seen it 20 times. Lotion on the Dead, that's the front. And on the back, it's a pretty cool one. I, I do like the comic book version one that they have of this. If I ever find that for the right price, I'll pick that up as well. And the camera's shaking because my kitten Callie is right underneath the table. Hopefully she'll stop doing that. <clears throat> Next we have The Secret Life of Pets. This was a Target exclusive, I think. It's the front and the back. And like most people, the thing I dislike about this one is the fact that the name of the movie is not on the spine. Kind of annoying. Next one is... I think this was a Black Friday deal last year. I think I got this price matched off Amazon. Um, First Blood. Sister Salone. When I kicked off the Rambo franchise, I saw this back in theaters back in the day. So this is like, what, 1982, 1983? Loved it. I still think it's the best of the series. One of my favorite Spencer Stone movies, period. It's the front. And the back, I think this is actually just the, like, J card is still stuck on the back. I've never taken it off. I'm not going to, probably. Next is another, I believe, Target exclusive, Finding Dory. I get to watch this. I, I really do like Finding Nemo, though. Dory is not my favorite character in the movie, though, so that's probably why I have not watched this one yet. It's the front and the back of that one. Nothing special on the inside. And we have, I think, another Target exclusive from a few years back. Fast and Furious 6. It's the front. Back of that one. And there's a, there is something on the inside. It's a action sequence from the film. After that, we have... Oh, there's also metal packs in this video, too. So this one's a metal pack. X-Men Days of Future Past. I did like this one. I think this was the last good X-Men movie. There's the back. And hi, Callie. There's Callie. Saying hello. Do not jump on still books. Uh, next one is Transformers Age of Extinction. It's the front of that one. The back. Optimus Prime riding some other some other like dragon looking Transformer. I think I've seen this movie once. It's not particularly good, but it's kind of a cool steel book. Glad to have it. Then we have one of the ones that my wife got me for Christmas. Um, not this past Christmas, or maybe it was this past Christmas. Might have been the one before, I can't recall. But um, the original Phantasm, one of my favorite horror movies. I love this. I've probably seen it 20, 30 times. It's the front, the back of that one. I'm not sure if there's anything on the inside. Oh, just those canister things that they were transporting people to the tall man's planet. Point out, love 
this movie. Um, another one that she got me that Christmas. Train to Busan. It's a front. Back of that one. I think it's the same company as Phantasm, so I might have something on the inside. Oh. The zombies. Awesome, awesome film. If you have not seen Train to Busan, I definitely recommend watching it. I think it's on Netflix and Amazon Prime. Uh, next one will be one of hers, one of my wife's April's. Um, I found this one for the Best Buy. I think it was Best Buy exclusive. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Steelbook. I think it's supposed to glow in the dark. I checked it last night. If it did, it doesn't now. And, um, the back of it. Eh, not much artwork on the inside. I really wanted the Hocus Pocus one. Um, it came out at the same time as this. Never was able to find it. And it was frustrating that for the longest time, that's why I had a shelf tag for it, and you never saw it restocked. I'm trying to find a decent deal for it on the aftermarket. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, I think my wife bought me this one as well. Top Gun. Front of that one. That's the back. Oh, just a picture of Maverick on the inside. I did watch the trailer for the, uh, the sequel. It came out this past week. Really psyched for that movie. Can't wait to see it. Um, oh, next. Everybody's favorite Star Wars movie. Obviously, I'm just kidding. Star Wars The Last Jedi. Front and back. And this one I'm a little upset about. Because at some point, the... I don't know if you can see it. The spine got damaged a bit. But you know what? This is not the greatest movie in the world. I don't really care that much. Um, a recent pickup. Which probably most people that are watching this video were able to get either at um, Five Below, where it was first spotted, or as also popped up in Big Lots. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw, I showed a picture of that recently. Zoolander, this was $5, obviously, at Five Below. It's the front and the back of that one. Really good. Second one sucks. Um, a recent, it's either a Goodwill or flea market pickup I can't recall uh, Born Legacy it's part of that one and in the back it's got a little bit of damage but I think I only paid like maybe three bucks for this so it's kind of a cool pickup I actually like this Born movie I know a lot of people don't but I think Jeremy Renner's pretty good in it and it's got Rachel Weisz and I love Rachel Weisz um, next back to Tom Cruise um this is not a good movie, but I, I had to have it. I think it was a Target exclusive. So my wife works for Target. Of course, I went 15% off. It's the front and the back. Sorry, the mummy. And uh, nothing to write home about it on the inside. I've only watched that once. Um... Next one, another metal pack. Star Trek, the J.J. Abrams remake. Oh, I love this movie. The front and the back. I hope they can get things going again. I'd like to see a fourth one. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. Uh, another one that I picked up. I'm not sure where I got this. This may have been a flea market pickup or a Goodwill as well. I've yet to watch the movie. Zero Dark Thirty. It's your front and your back to get to that one at some point. Um, let's go with Chappie. I'm pretty sure I got this. Actually, it might have been in clearance at a Target. I don't think I paid more than like $6 for it. The back cover. Kind of strange movie. I liked it though. This one was from a store called Tunes in Marlton, New Jersey, which has since gone out of business. They had a 50% off uh, Blu-rays and DVDs for quite a while. I think this was $6.99, so what, $3.50. Batman Begins. It's not in mint condition, but it's in very good condition. And back. 
let's go with another Goodwill title. So not only was this a Goodwill, where DVDs at this location are $1.99, it's a Blu-ray, it's a steelbook, it was marked for DVD price. And some stuff fell. Fortunately, that was not steelbooks. I got American Sniper, front cover, and the back cover. Let me collect that stuff real quick, give me one second. Thankfully, just a bunch of DVDs that are actually for sale and not any of my steelbooks. All right. Um, we'll go with... I think this was a Big Lots pickup. $5 MASH, the movie. Front and back. I've never seen it. Probably should watch this soon. If you watch my videos, you've already seen these. I just got them a week or two ago. Indiana Jones, The Complete Adventures. It's the front and in the back. All four Indiana Jones movies to date. And that's Callie playing around with stuff. The other one from that pickup was uh, The Karate Kid. The original. Front and back. Into my John Carpenter ones. These are like some of my favorites in the collection. We have starting to late Roddy Piper. They live. It's the front of that one and the back. These are from Screen Factory. It says on the inside, I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Love that line. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, let's go with another one of his. Perhaps, well, no, not my favorite. My second favorite Kurt Russell film, and Kurt Russell may be my favorite actor of all time. Uh, Escape from New York. It's your front and your back. It's another Screen Factory release. The rules are simple. Once you go in, you don't come out. If only that were true. Um, another John Carpenter one from Screen Factory. Prince of Darkness, that's your front. And your back, it still has a little sleeve attached to it. Let's take that off. That's the actual back cover. The inside of this one says, this is not a dream. This is a creepy movie. Very good though. Um, let's keep continue with this theme. I want to say this is his second film, his Dark Star Carpenter's first movie, but this is also one of my favorite Carpenter movies, Assault, um, Assault on Precinct 13. It's your front and your back. You gotta smoke. Awesome film. If you've never seen it, I recommend it. The sequel, not sequel, I'm sorry, remake starring Ethan Hawke and Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, it's kind of trash. I do have it though. And I like Ethan Hawk. Let's see. Another John Carpenter, The Fog. It's your front, and it's another one I have not taken the piece off the back yet. That's the back cover. And so this one says It's all that we is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream at Garland Poe. Good horror film. The remake with Tom Welling from Smallville and Maggie Grace. Garbage. Uh, let's see. I think the last one in the Carpenter series from Scream Factory. Of course, be my favorite Carpenter movie of all time. Favorite Kurt Russell movie. John Carpenter is a thing. This came out in 1982 when I was 10 years old creep the hell out of me <laughs> the first time I watched it. I've probably seen it 50 times. It never gets old. It's your front cover. Your back cover. 
nothing on the inside because this one's got three discs. It's got um, feature film, 2017 4K scan, feature film, 2016 2K scan, plus bonus features, and disc three special features. I think most of the special features are ported from the special edition, but from the DVD. Really good material on that. It's, a, it's an excellent, excellent set. And so I think it's the priciest of those steel books from for Carpenter, but definitely worth picking up. I did read somewhere, I think Serial Midnight um, had posted a whole bunch of new Screen Factory titles that were coming out, and Big Trouble in Little China Steel Book is on that list, and that would be a definite pre order for me. I have to have that. Um, on last week's pickup video, Scarface, here's your front, your back of that one. Another metal pack, the Italian job. There's your front and your back. Can you hear that jingling? That's Kelly coming back in the room. Um, let's see. Let's go with these monster ones. Monster, classic monsters that a lot of people picked up from Big Lots. I have three of those. We've got the mummy with its little protected sleeve. There's your front and your back cover to that one. And Dracula. I love the artwork on these. They're really nice. Good luck finding them anymore, Big Lots, but for those of us who are fortunate enough to get these for five bucks, great pickup. And this one's still sealed, so I can't show the inside. Wolfman, front and the back. Getting close to the end. Um, this came out like two years ago, I think. The ET Steelbook, I think it was really cheap, like $10 maybe? 10, 12 when it came out. Your back cover. Image of them on their bikes on the inside. Uh, oh God, a movie that most people hate. I didn't think it was too terrible, but I, I, I love Amelia Clark. Um, okay, yeah, it does suck. Terminator Genesis, there's your front. Amelia in all her glory on the back. And John Connor on the inside. And there's Callie. Hi, Callie. Down, baby. This one, um, I picked this up for, I think, four bucks. When I, my job had me going all over the country, I was in L.A. at a store called Amoeba Records, which is an awesome, awesome store, by the way. We have a copy of Ender's Game on Steelbook. There's the front cover. I like it. In the back. I don't think there's anything. No, it's as bare bones as it gets on the inside. Down to the last few. I like all three of these. Um, this one I picked up. Um, my wife's one of my wife's favorite movies is The Day After Tomorrow. It's one of the ones she always has on in the background. This is the steel book from Best Buy, I believe. There's your front and the back of that one. Well, your inside image. David Fincher, The Game, Michael Douglas, Sean Penn, front and back. I think this was really well priced when it when it was released about a year or so ago. I think it was like thir $13, it looks brand new. Inside Image, easily my favorite Fincher film. I think this is way better than Fight Club. Sorry if you disagree, but you're wrong. I love it. <laughs> And then, Best Buy exclusive. I bought this one the day it came out. I love this movie. Ten Cloverfield Lane. Front and the back of that one. And pretty much the same image on the inside. And the only thing, only thing we have left is a couple TV shows. I have the third season of The Flash. I think I got this from Best Buy about this time last year. It's your front. 
on your back. I don't know if they've done other seasons in Steelbook, but if they do or did, I would love to pick them up. This is a pretty cool one. And then for a number of years, I collected the Walking Dead Target Special Editions. These are season three and four. Front and back of those. And then I have five and six. I stopped picking these up though because it seems like every single year Walking Dead is $10 a season on Blu-ray for Black Friday. Um, rather than paying, you know, 30 or more for these guys, why why do that and just get the regular release for 10 bucks? So, not a big deal. And that's it. Um, thanks for sticking through to the end of this video. I hope to get a whole lot more Steelbooks. It's I really love seeking out and trying to collect. There's a few I'm watching on Mercari that for a good price I'm hoping to pick up pretty soon. You'll see those soon if I acquire them. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And once again, Rick, Joe, I got those bags coming. These, these guys will be taken care of soon. I promise. Catch you later, guys.